Hello, in this video we are going to cover solving systems of equations. That's when you have uh, two or more equations that you are trying to solve at the same time. Now, there are two ways to solve a systems of equation algebraically. You can either use elimination or you can use substitution. And even if you don't remember it, you guys have learned both methods before. Now, the goal of elimination is to get what we call additive inverses. And we want additive inverses for one of the variables. That way they cancel out and, you know, eliminate, hence the name. So examples of additive inverses are 2x and negative 2x, negative 5y, and positive 5y. Do you see how they are opposites of each other and they both have the same variable? So, for example, let's say you had 3x and negative 3y. Those are not additive inverses because they have different variables. So, let's actually try to solve a system by elimination. It is a system because we have two equations and we want to find the x and the y value the same x and the same y value that work for both equations at the same time. So the thing is we want to get rid of one of these. We're looking for additive inverses. When we combine them together, do they add to zero? You have to decide if you want to get rid of the x or the y. Now, if you notice, I have a negative 1y and I have a positive 1y. Those are additive inverses. So what I'm going to do is combine these two equations together to eliminate the y's. So what I have here is 2x plus 1x would be 3x. And from there, negative 1y plus y is 0. They eliminate. And then I have 2 plus 2 is 4. So I can now solve this and get that x is equal to 4 thirds. Not really a nice answer, but it is the answer. Please don't write this as a decimal. Don't even write it as 1.3 repeating because <coughs> it's going to be hard to solve for y. Now what you're going to do is take the value of x and you need to solve for y. You can actually use either equation that you want. I'm going to go with the more basic equation because the more basic, the easier it is for you. Anyway, as we continue through this, we know that x is now 4 thirds. So if you guys didn't notice that, I'm subbing in my value of 4 thirds in for x. Sorry, the yellow was uh, better looking. Anyway, we have plus y equals 2. We are now subtracting 4 thirds to try and get y by itself. So in your calculator, do 2 minus 4 thirds, and your calculator is going to tell you that that would be 2 thirds. And now you have your x value and you have your y value. You could write it as x equals 4 thirds and y equals 2 thirds, or you might see it as a coordinate 4 thirds comma 2 thirds. For the next one, we want to solve the system by elimination. In order to do that, you need to figure out what are you going to eliminate. So I have c minus 2d equals 14, and c plus 3d equals 9. So from there, I don't have additive inverses of either of them. That's actually not OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them additive inverses. I'm going to try to eliminate c by making one plus c and the other one one uh, minus c. So in order to get a minus c, you need to multiply one of your exponents, sorry, one of your equations by a negative. I'm going to multiply my second equation by a negative one. And the main thing that we forget to do is distribute the negative. This is going to be negative c minus 3d equals negative 9. I'm going to keep my original top equation the same. And now that I have additive inverses, c and minus c, I can combine them. 
So when I combine these, they cancel out and eliminate. That's fantastic. And now when I combine these, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Sorry, my pen is uh, not working that great. And 14 minus 9 is also a number. Uh, that is 5. As you solve for D, you get that D is equal to negative 1. Not enough. Now you have to go and find C. Take any equation that you prefer. I'm just taking the first equation. And now you are going to take negative 1 and substitute it in for D. So this is going to be C uh, minus 2 times negative 1 equals 14. C plus 2 equals 14. And you get C is equal to 12. You can write this as C equals 12, D equals negative 1. However, uh, if you were to write it as a coordinate, it is super important that you put this in alphabetical order. C comes first in the alphabet, so 12 has to come first. Okay, moving on to the next one. We are solving a system of equations by elimination. Again, notice how none of these are additive inverses. I have 3 and 4. I have 2 and 7. You need to decide what you want to get rid of. And you can decide to cross out the, the x's or to cross out the y's. I'm going to go with crossing out the x's. Now, because 1 is 3 and 1 is 4, remember, you have to get them to plus x and minus x. So you need to think of your LCD here. What's the lowest number? Well, not really an LCD. It's a least common multiple. But anyway, you need to think of what do 3 and 4 both go into. And in this case, they both go into 12. So I'm going to try to get x, 1x to positive 12, and the other x to negative 12. So from there, I'm going to multiply my top by positive 4. Come on. Pen's not working again. And I'm going to multiply my bottom. I want to get to negative 12 because remember they have to be negative values. So I'm going to multiply by negative 3. Make sure you distribute everything. This is going to be 12x plus 8y equals 16 because I multiplied every number up top by 4. And now I'm going to multiply every number on the bottom by negative 3. So I get negative 12x minus 21y equals negative 3. And now I'm going to combine them. And notice how 12 minus 12 eliminates. 8 minus uh, 21 is going to be negative, I don't know, 13. That sounds about right. And this is going to be 13. From there, solve for y. And you get that y is equal to negative 1. Now you have to go back and find x. So we have 3x plus 2y. You could pick any equation that you prefer. And just make sure we sub in negative 1 for y. We get 3x plus 2 times negative 1 equals 4. 3x equals, ooh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 equals 4. And now we solve for x. So you can either write your answer as x equals 2, y equals negative 1, or write it as a coordinate, 2 comma negative 1. Now there actually is a second method to use, and that was substitution. In order to do uh, substitution, you're going to have to get one variable by itself. So you need to choose, do you want to get x by itself, or do you want to get y by itself? And it really depends on how you feel. I'm going to take uh, the easier equation. And to me, this is the easier equation. And I'm going to get x by itself by bringing the y to the other side. And I get x is equal to 2 minus y. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to take this original equation. You can't use the same equation. You have to use the opposite one. And you're going to notice that instead of x, I'm going to substitute with what I know x is. And I know x is 2 minus y. So I'm going to rewrite it 
as 2, make sure you use parentheses, instead of x, we use 2 minus y, minus y equals 2. And now you could solve for y by distributing. This is 4 minus 2y minus y equals 2. We're going to combine our like terms to be negative 3y equals 2. Subtract the 4. You get negative 3y is equal to negative 2, and I'm running out of room. But if negative 3y is equal to negative 2, continue solving for y, and you get y is equal to negative 2 thirds, which is what we got for number 1. But now you need to solve for x. So you can actually, if you look at it, I have an equation for x, a very nice equation for x. And I know that y is 2 thirds. So now I have x equals 2 minus y, which is 2 thirds. You're going to put this in your calculator, and if you were to do that, you would get 4 thirds, which makes sense because that gives us the original answer that we had, where x was 4 thirds, y was negative 2 thirds, and your coordinate, if you chose to write it as a coordinate, would be 4 thirds, comma, negative 2 thirds. And they just realized that. I forgot to divide by a negative, and the negative two-thirds, negative two divided by negative three would be positive two-thirds. Oops. If I managed to do the right correctly, the rest correctly, because then I forgot the negative anyway. Oh boy. Okay. There we go, all fixed. Moving on. For the next one, in order to do substitution, you have to get one of the variables by itself. Look how easy it is to get c by itself in this equation. You're just going to add 2d to both sides. And we get c equals 2d plus 14. Now that you know c is equal to 2d plus 14, you are going to substitute it into the other equation. Every, ooh, nope. You're going to substitute it into c because that's what c equals. C is equal to 2D plus 14, so I'm going to rewrite this as 2D plus 14. And I'm going to continue on with the rest of the equation of 3D equals 9. You're going to combine like terms on the left. 2D plus 3D is 5D. And then you are going to solve 4D. So you can subtract 14 from both sides. You get 5d, 9 minus 14 is negative 5. If you divide by 5, you get that d is equal to negative 1. That is not enough. Now you have to take an equation and solve for c. But we have a very nice equation for c. c is equal to 2d plus 14. And I know that d is negative 1. So I can substitute this in with negative 1. And you get negative 2 plus 14, so that C is equal to 12. You can now write that as your coordinate. If you choose to write it as a coordinate, that is up to you. Sometimes you will have to, so I suggest you practice. Remember, coordinates go in alphabetical order. C comes first in the alphabet, so I'm putting 12 first. And there we go. That is our introduction to substitution and elimination. It is important that you know substitution because that's what we're going to be using for the remainder of the week. Come next week, though, we're going to be forced to use elimination.